Hi there, I'm Matt Holland and you're watching Irish Football Fan TV. Hello and welcome back to Irish Football Fan TV. I'm here with John. We are going to discuss the Gavin Bizzunu transfer. Breaking yeah, news. Breaking news and massive breaking news at that. Um, there's been a couple of high profile moves from players in the, in the Irish League across the, across the water to England the last couple of years. Even his own teammate a couple of months ago but I don't think I ever have noticed such a transfer to grab so much attention obviously yeah. it's a kid that has grabbed a lot of attention in his short time playing playing in first team football in the league is only a couple of months now uh, but straight away even I've been talking to you know journalists and friends of mine from sporting various different clubs across in England and everyone's aware of him it's big news over there to a certain extent as well particularly anybody who's involved in new football yeah and massive massive move because it's a player from from Ireland joining the Premier League champions, we've had. I don't think we've had an Irish player since Shea Given at City. Um, it, it, it's, it's such a high profile player in at a time when we've spoke so many times about the lack of players playing top level football. He's got a, he's got an absolute dream for him. Um, uh, to the to the Premier League champions, it's it's massive massive news. It just goes to show, like he's sixteen years of uh, years of age. He's played a couple of games already, and he's already got Player of the Month. Very true, very true, and like become high profile as well. Like everyone, I think references back to that uh, to to say from a friend of the show. Unfortunately, the, the away, Sadler, the, yeah, of yeah. course, yeah. Um, and down. he kept that nil nil. He did, and that was a massive, massive, you know, massive save for him and a personal, but a massive point as well for Rovers, and that really I think grabbed a lot of people's attention. And you know, there's been you know various reports of various um, scouts that have been watching him uh, since or whatever. But yeah, like it, it's a bit surreal, like. He almost it almost felt felt like that it was almost out of desperation that Rovers you know give, give the young kid a chance obviously rave reviews and in the, in the academy days at, at Rovers. Well, they were they were having serious problems at, at uh, yeah. with their goalkeeping issues between Horgan and uh, Sh- I can't pronounce yeah. the last yeah. we, we do this every time, don't we? And I'm no better. <laughs> I'm um, so I can't pronounce it, <laughs> but anyway, we all know the the, yeah. the keeper we're talking about. Um, but yeah, so he comes in and. Then all of a sudden they start getting a, a lot of games with clean sheets. Yeah, what was it like? It was two or three clean sheets straight away. Um, it, it was just incredible. You know, it was one of those like kind of dream kind of debuts that goes on and on and on. And look, <laughs> look at him now. Look where it's led him to. Yeah. But I think it's well, it's it's very wise of him as well. And uh, you know, he's a follower of the show, so he may be actually watching this. But the fact that he's going to stay here, do his leaving cert, and progress for another year is good because it means that, you know, if Alan Manis gets injured, Shamit Robert, he's straight away in there. I feel that the reason why he was left out of the derby the other night was just because anything happens in the derby and any mistakes or anything like that, yeah. people get ridiculed and he's a bit young. I think that's the only reason he was left out of the derby. I think otherwise he would The wouldn't. rumours are as well, don't know how true it is, but I, I heard it during the rounds today. I think that he might have been actually over... No, he was on the bench. Was he but on he the was bench? Over. He, was, he was over. He was over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Afterwards, then I think Pep. Spawn, speak to our mate Dave yeah. from uh, Introspective at MCL. He had him in the van. Very good, very good. He got winded down by Pep then, uh, over the, and the six 0 victory over Huddersfield. And like you know, I'd say like th- there's been talks of you know various different clubs. I think Liverpool looked at him. Actenberg was over a little while ago. That kind of faded and actually, and Spurs. Ar- ar- ironically enough, would another Irish keeper kind of probably stall in that move for want of a better word. Spurs were interested. I I believe Spurs bid as well, but City have have really gone. You know, massive, yeah, massive but a lot of people are saying it's four hundred. It, it's with add-ons, and if those add-ons, I don't know what they are, but if they do, it will equal to more and more and more. It's probably appearance fees, first team appearances. So on and so forth. I think it was good business by. Yeah, uh, like obviously we haven't the, the full ge- nitty gritty of the deal hasn't been released yet, and it probably might come out over time. I hope for Rover's sake that they have an add on or a sell on fee on, on the deal as well for any potential move down in the future, because that really, as it's shown with various other clubs, that could be a mm. huge money maker for a firm again. But that's that's miles down the road. But, but for me, the, the annoying thing was I seen so many people online. There was a good few people be, being like, "Oh, delighted for the kid," and then there was people going. What an idiot. Why is he going to them? He'll never play for them. And then you're looking at it, you go, you know, Claudio Bravo was on his way out. Um, when you're looking around, Joe Hart's gone. Mm-hmm. You know, obviously, there's Edison. Right. But you're looking other than that. You know, City haven't really gotten out and they can go out and buy whoever they want. Of course, but like they, they've, they've definitely been like, looking, everyone's watching the, the Amazon Prime oh, video, yeah. which the name of it is gone out of my head right All now. All or nothing. All or nothing. There we are. 
Um, I just finished watching it today. Yeah. Fascinating watch. I'm about halfway through it there now. But like, it is one of the things they they speak of. Despite the volumes and volumes of money that they have, they're really, really making a push with their academy. And you know, their Guardiola, to be fair to him, he's giving youngsters. You know, he's doing his best to to, to give them an avenue to the first team squad. Phil Foden. If you yeah, exactly. if you if you're good enough, you're old. Enough. Yeah, and absolutely. Yeah, and you know, like I, you know. I can see the argument to a certain extent, but like you're a young kid, you you're, you have a chance to work with one of the best managers in world in world football, Guardiola, in a, in a club as big as Manchester City. Who wouldn't want to take that opportunity? Especially but, after watching, as you say, the documentary, and you look at how he really comes across and stuff, and he he's just he's so astute to everything he does, and he he, he just you can see how close he is with all the players, even on the documentary is. He's, he speaks to them all like they're as his kids, like yeah, and that's right down like the, the I think it's the opening episode where they're you know they're they they kind of show a little bit of glimpse into the the kit man and the boot man and stuff yeah. like that. There's a, f- a whole kind of collective family, sp- yeah, 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 very much so. But the 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 biggest thing I think you, you touched on it there, Paul, as well was a lot of people were asking me today, you know, is this kid good? And I was like, yes, absolutely. But probably the biggest compliment that really, really shows him is the fact that he didn't jump away straight away and take this move now like he could have. No, he said, he said I'm going to wait, I'm going to finish while even start finish my education and then move. That, for me, speaks volumes of the maturity that the, the young Yeah, a lot has. of the players have come out and said, Luke Bird especially, he was obviously here absolutely, with me yeah. the other week and he was saying how grounded he is. Yeah. So, I mean, it just goes to show the character of, of, the, of the lad. So, for me, anyway... I wish him all the luck in the world. Absolutely, absolutely. And from from everyone that that's into a massive move for the kid and really, really hope it works well and he enjoys every moment of it. But we'll we'll get to watch him a bit more in the flesh before yeah, exactly. he, he hops across the pond. We may even have him on the show, who knows? Who knows what'll happen. Uh, let us know what you thought of our uh, reaction to the breaking news of Gavin Bazunu's transfer to Manchester City. Let us know your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. We are almost at 3K, so get us up there. Thanks for watching.